guys, this is Tim with Tim's Permaculture Homestead. It's Sunday the uh, 17th, I think. Anyway, i uh, been out here since early this morning. I first come out, I was going to uh, take care of that bee, that uh, bee's nest. It's in a hole in the raised bed. It's over there, I don't want to get too close. I haven't been able to do anything over here because of... I can see them flying around. I don't know if you can see uh, that raised bed right about where my finger is. They are coming in and out of a hole. I couldn't see the hole early this morning. I had a flashlight because there's so many weeds there. So I took the scythe and I, it was 44 degrees out this morning. I took the scythe and I went all the way down to the dirt. I see them come swarming all around. I still don't know exactly where the hole is. But anyway, I was going to, I bought some spray to spray down the holes like a foam. It's supposed to kill them and uh, <clears throat> couldn't find it. So, and then one, one of the bees actually flew out. So I thought, well, I'm out of here. It was really cold this morning. So I worked this bed up right here and I noticed that the, there's not very much of soil, that, only about that much in some places, because this is a hugel culture bed. I've got all kinds of little logs in there and stuff. So I need to come up with some soil, to have more soil to put in this bed. So what I think I'm going to do is maybe take soil from that bed and just do away with that bed and eventually do away with that one. Um, haven't quite decided yet, but I'll take the soil out of that one and put in here. And uh, I'll repurpose that wood maybe and make another air pruning bed because I got a lot of seeds to plant in it. So uh, that's what I got going on then I've been tying up uh, some more of the blackberry canes I tell you it looks a whole lot better over here a whole lot better I'll show, show you so now there's there's the blackberries see I cleaned up all down here all along of air can blow through now be less disease so I cut out quite a bit and I still got some on the ground here I need to I need to tie up I'm gonna do that as soon as I make this video and then I've got so much to do still uh, we had a lot of rain Friday night was it Friday night I think we had a, a, some bad storms that blew through. Uh, a town called Hillsboro, uh, right outside of Hillsboro, had some tornado, a tornado that touched down. It's like 20 miles from here. Uh, got pretty violent, pretty violent storm. A lot of rain. Greenhouse. Uh, I bought some BT. I haven't sprayed it yet. I have been picking them cabbage worms off of this stuff. I come in here every couple of hours. I'm not seeing very many now. So I think I might have actually picked most all of them off. And they have decimated a lot of this stuff. But I think it will come back and, and do alright. But I come in here every two or three hours and I check for more worms. And I just I pull them off and I squash them. But it's more on this bed than than in this one. I found them in here, but, but there's been a lot more, especially over there on the kale. Uh, well, <laughs> that's what I got going on now, guys. Ah, oh, gee, this video is already five minutes long. So I'm going to cut it off right now and hope
hope everybody has a great week next week. God bless, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.